Konnichiwa! Today we're talking about the question, what is Japan's climate? I've been asked this a lot and I have a lot to say about it. So we're going to break it down by month. January to February, it's cold and humid. And when you put humid and cold together, you get humid cold. Now humid cold is a special thing. You could take a dry area and a humid area, and if they have the same temperature, say they're both 30 degrees Fahrenheit, the humid area is going to feel colder because the wind will go right through your coat. So speaking of coats, I recommend you bring a nice windbreaker coat that will block that wind from getting into you and block the water from sticking to your skin and making you feel miserable. Question. Yes. Answer. Does J Japan get snow? Tokyo metro area and other urban areas may not get a lot of snow. This is because they are close to the coast and they're a little bit warmer than, say, other places, such as the mountain areas. In the mountain areas, you can get you a lot of snow. For example, in Kofu and Niigata, they're, they're higher, closer to the mountains, you're going to get more snow. Especially in northern Japan, Hokkaido, you can expect on average about 10 feet of snow per year. They're prepared for it up there, don't worry about it. Winter verdict, not too cold, but humid, and snow depends on where you live. Now, March to April, it's cool and warmish and humid. Here's another question. When do the cherry blossoms bloom? Oh, good question. So the answer to that is March. They begin in March and they last about a week. Here are some pictures from my area that I lived in. Very beautiful, very pink. So the spring verdict is take time to see the cherry blossoms when they bloom in your area. Now we're not gonna talk about May very much. Just know that it's sweater weather and it's humid. June and July, it rains, and it's really humid. Here's a picture. You can expect that it will rain almost every other day. Most days will be rainy, so I suggest that you bring along a good umbrella and some waterproof boots. I know galoshes are popular. You can get ones with inserts for when it's cold and wet. You can get ones that are comfortable, but I recommend having galoshes or other waterproof shoes because I didn't and my shoes got soaked all the time. So the June verdict, take galoshes and an umbrella. Thanks for watching. Part two of the video is going to come out soon. So subscribe so you can see that. Comment below, ask your question, and I will answer it. And check out my ebook, Japan Word. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.